The year 2021 has managed to beat people's expectations of what artificial intelligence could accomplish in such a short amount of time. Many different fields of general computer science, new types of hardware design and revolutionary new algorithms all came together to enable AI to have new abilities and enter previously thought impossible domains. This increase of relevance in abilities is also just the start as scientific papers in that field are also increasing year to year. Artificial intelligence is the technological bombshell that has rocked the planet. When the phrase, artificial intelligence, was originally created at a conference, no one expected that it would one day replace all repetitious tasks and free humans from hard labor. With the introduction of the internet, technology advanced at an exponential rate. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you all the different advancements artificial intelligence has made during this incredible year, what we could expect during next year and potentially even this decade, and finally, what this rapid improvement of AI means for all of us. For the previous three decades, artificial intelligence has stood alone, but it is currently being streamlined with ubiquitous sub-technologies and applications. Emerging trends are fueling the AI frenzy, from biometrics and computer vision to smart devices and self-driving automobiles. Today, I have compiled a list of the top AI technologies that propelled innovation to new heights in 2021. The digital world's next eye devices are organized and particularly utilized to conduct eye-oriented activities. They have enhanced graphics and central processing units, which has sped up the development of the next generation of applications. Eye-optimized silicon chips, for example, are easily portable and can be placed into any device when the organization requires information. These enhanced approaches are allowing firms to increase their investment in AI applications. Alleviate, Google, Cray, and other businesses are developing eye-optimized hardware solutions. For a long time, the most important statistic for processors was raw performance. This was reflected in their design. As software became more prevalent, Processors needed to become smarter, more efficient and commoditized, thus specialized processors like GPUs evolved, smart chips, if you will. By lucky coincidence, those purpose-built graphics processors proved to be more helpful than CPUs for deep learning operations, and the GPU became one of the important actors in current AI and ML. With this background knowledge, the following evolutionary stage is obvious. If we can design hardware specifically for visual applications, why not for deep learning, AI, and machine learning? There's also a rare convergence of circumstances that makes the next several years critical for chip making and technology in general. First and foremost, we are witnessing the end of Denard scaling and a plateauing of Moore's law, which anticipates a doubling of transistors on integrated circuits every two years, which says performance per watt doubles at about the same rate. That used to mean that with each new generation of technology, processors doubled in density and computing power while taking the same amount of power. But now that we've reached the nanoscale scale, we're running against physics restrictions. That is why the next generation of smart chips, dubbed, genius, chips, will prioritize efficiency and specialization. Chip architecture will be designed to optimize for the software running on it and function more effectively overall. When employing high-powered AI does not require a complete server farm and is available to a far greater portion of the business, the ideal conditions for widespread disruption and innovation become a reality. The democratization of expensive, resource-intensive AI is inextricably linked to these soon-to-be-observed breakthroughs in chip architecture and software-centered hardware design. People are entitled to carry out the content production procedure in today's routine. Humans participate in the earliest thought-provoking works, whether they be videos, photos, advertising, blogs, white papers, or news reports. This, however, will not last long. Brands such as USA Today, Hearst, and CBS are already utilizing technology to perform the thinking job. More such cognitive AI devices will exceed human skills by 2021. Artificial intelligence and automation are poised to permanently alter digital marketing. They can assist you in gaining a competitive advantage in the cluttered digital marketing marketplace. You can automate several time-consuming chores and concentrate on the creative parts of content marketing. While it may have felt like science fiction 20 years ago, AI systems can now convert your information into a variety of forms. Advanced natural language processing technologies can even produce articles on their own. 
Above all, artificial intelligence and machine learning assist you in learning more about your clients and developing meaningful interactions with them. According to Salesforce, high-performing marketing teams are at least twice as likely as underperformers to incorporate AI in their efforts. You increase user engagement, conversions, and retention by generating highly targeted, relevant, and customized AI content. Ghostwriter is an AI-powered software tool that allows you to produce highly interesting and relevant AI content in only a few clicks. Its lookalike profiler gathers client data and assists you in creating content that is relevant to them. The platform also includes a content generator who learns from your style, themes, and tone of voice to assist you in creating user-centric and on-brand material that connects with your target audience. Whenever feasible, begin your neural network training with a pre-trained model and fine-tune it. You don't want to start with random weights since it implies you're starting with a model that doesn't know what it's doing. Pre-training allows you to utilize 1000x less data than if you started from beginning. So, what do you do if your domain lacks pre-trained models? In the realm of medical imaging, for example, there are extremely few pre-trained models. Transfusion. Understanding transfer learning for medical imaging, a recent work that looked into this subject, discovered that utilizing even a few early layers from a pre-trained ImageNet model may increase both the speed of training and the end accuracy of medical imaging models. As a result, even if it is not in the area of the problem you are working on, you should utilize a general-purpose pre-trained model. The activity used for pre-training in self-supervised learning is known as the pretext task. The activities that we utilize for fine-tuning are referred to as downstream tasks. Despite the fact that self-supervised learning is almost universally utilized in natural language processing today, it is employed far less in computer vision models than we might think given how effectively it works. Perhaps this is due to the widespread success of ImageNet pre-training, and people in communities such as medical imaging are less familiar with the requirement for self-supervised learning. This is also what Facebook considers to be the future of training artificial intelligence models as it's closely modeled after the way humans learn things. Most people believe that autonomous automobiles are the way of the future. With the current advancements in the self-driving car sector, few would dare to argue that these vehicles will reduce the number of road accident deaths. According to research, self-driving cars might lower the number of road deaths in the United States by more than 90% by the year 2050. However, this is not the only impact that self-driving cars will have on our future. Cars and automobiles in general are an important component of our everyday lives and society. Surprisingly, as humans, we are prone to get enraged while behind the wheel. So the issue today is whether autonomous automobiles will make us kinder people. Such a drastic shift in the vehicle business will have far-reaching consequences in many aspects of our life. You can work in your car on your way to work if you don't have to drive. You may even use the autonomous car as your mobile office, going around to customers and doing meetings on the fly. Because we have autonomous vehicles, vans, lorries, and buses can also be driverless. These can be turned into genuine workplaces or retail establishments. You can have a business model in which customers request a service and it is delivered to them. This approach is ideal for a wide range of enterprises, including gyms, restaurants, apparel stores, and even translation firms. The driverless car would park in front of the client's home for around an hour before moving on to the next customer. This would completely transform the way business is conducted. AI-powered applications are becoming very common in all imaginable industries. Artificial intelligence is currently powering robotics, speech-to-text algorithms, automobiles, and performing tasks ranging from movie trailer creation to music composition. Google wants to take it to the next level. This weekend, Google launched its newest product, the Google Assistant, a voice-activated digital assistant powered by AI. Google generally does not create its own smartphones or gadgets, but they did with Assistant. As a result, the business also unveiled its new hardware, including the Pixel smartphone and the Google Home speaker and smart home controller. These gadgets have appeal on their own, but they don't stand out when compared to Amazon's Echo or Apple's iPhone 7. What distinguishes them is Assistant, which is handled by simple voice commands and has a more conversational tone than Apple's Siri. That's where artificial intelligence comes in. Assistant learns about your habits and daily activities and performs conversation actions to better assist you. It also uses information from your Google accounts. 
The more it understands about how, when, and where it is utilized, the better it can assist you. For the time being, Google Assistant is only available on the Pixel, Google Home, and the messaging app Allo. However, third-party developers will ultimately be able to use Assistant with their apps. While Assistant hints at a future in which omnipresent AI studies our routines to better serve us, it also raises privacy issues. Having an ever-present, artificially intelligent software searching through your contacts, phone, habits, and everyday life is a significant reduction in privacy. Ads are the majority of Google's revenue, and it appears that this will continue with Assistant. Google will be able to create even better ad campaigns with more information owing to their new AI product. Artificial intelligence is having an influence on the future of almost every sector and every human being. Artificial intelligence has been the primary driving force behind developing technologies such as big data, robots, and IoT, and it will continue to be a technological innovator in the foreseeable future. So, what is your opinion on these advancements? Which one of them do you think holds the most promise in the long term? Are there any new technologies I've forgot to mention which you believe to be a huge game changer? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.